and buff. <laughs> Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Morgan 111, and welcome back to Terraria 1.4 Master Mode. I have found a spot, perhaps not the best spot, but a spot in the ice biome where I want to dig down, hopefully pass the corruption, into some good ice caves so that we can do some exploring on this side of the map. This side of the map being over here. And yeah, so I've got Spelunker, Night Owl, Shine, Mining Potions, as well as usual kind of Iron Skin Regen and Well Fed. I've got some imps to help me out in terms of defense. And yeah, we're just going to dig down, past the corruption, start exploring some caves, and see if we can find some good stuff. Now this is going to be slower to dig through than I expected, even with the mining potions. But fortunately we have a solution for that, in the form of bombs. So let's use some bombs to bomb down through the Evanstone, and then find the right column, just continue digging down. Eventually we get down to the ice caves and things will be hunky-dory. Oh, hey, here comes a fairy. This will be helpful because even without a splunker potion with the fairy around, it is flying off to the right. So what does the fairy see that I haven't seen yet? Uh, it's going to the right. There's a green fairy. Still don't know if the colors of the fairies are actually meaningful at all. It's still going to the right. I'm getting blocks falling on my head because I'm not paying any attention. I'm gonna try not to drown. I see, it found the chest that's right over here. Cool. All right, good job, fairy. You've earned your keep. Ding. All right, let's see what's inside this chest the fairy led me to. It's an ice boomerang. Is that this ice boomerang? Neat. And some other stuff. All right, that's a nice little bonus. Let's use our grappling hook to move more swiftly through this area, since being underwater in the ice biome is very slow. Let's close off the water here so we don't have to deal with it. And go back to digging down. All right, there's some kind of gemstones over here on top of this iron. Hey, or gold, and it's diamonds, neat. Okay, diamonds I'd like. I left my safe at home. Oh, that's a bummer. I'm gonna have to go back for it. I definitely want the diamonds. I don't need the copper ore. So I just picked up the diamonds there. And yeah, let me run home and get my safe because I need the extra storage space for sure. All right, the ice boomerang works like this. It is not a material and it's only 19 melee damage. So it's pretty much outclassed at this point. So I'm just gonna sell it, even though it makes me a little bit sad. <laughs> And the frozen chest will definitely hold on to as more potential furniture that we can use in the base. And so it would go in here. Oh my goodness. I don't need to hold on to all these healing potions. So we'll just shove it in here for now. I was about to say, and now back to our dig already in progress. And I just realized I went home, I dropped off stuff, and I forgot to grab the safe. <laughs> Which is the whole reason I went back in the first place. So let's correct that error. Okay, third time's charm. This time I actually have the safe in my inventory. And we're digging. And did my Spelunker Potion wear off? It did. So let's buff with another Spelunker Potion so we can see what's around. Don't care about just the little pots and things. Uh, but I'm definitely interested in things like the life crystal that's coming up on the right. And any chest that we might find. And also just to see if there might be any unique traps that we haven't seen yet. Gloomy Maze is apparently somewhere nearby. Uh, I just thought I might have seen... There's something over here. Oh, it was just the rare creatures thing. Yeah, in any case, the Skeleton Merchant is around somewhere, but we don't need to find it right now. It says chest detected nearby. Perhaps it'll appear on the screen in just a moment. And there's definitely a trap of some sort over to the right. So I might take a peek over in that direction. All right, so the trap appears to just be 
a typical pressure plate dart trap, which is not too exciting. And even though it says Gloomy Maze is still nearby, I'm not sure where he is, because I don't see him anywhere. And I lost track of whether I set it or whether I got distracted by running out of inventory space. Uh, but one of the reasons that I want to make chops down through the jungle and down on this side is so that when we do transition into hard mode, and we end up with a V-shape of Corruption and Hallow that is added into the world, it'll be really handy to have some underground Corruption and some underground Hallow on whichever sides that we can immediately just drive straight down a mine shaft to get into those underground biomes for when we're trying to farm certain things that we need to find in those biomes. So having these shafts pre-dug is just going to make things easier once we get into hard mode. And it also just gives me a convenient reason to go exploring down here and see what we can find. Like rubies. And life containers. Uh, life crystals, whatever they're called. That heart over there, I want it. It looks yummy. Another goblin army? Really? I've had a number of these. I'm gonna ignore it for now and we'll just fight it and deal with it once we get back home. Alright, and I can tell just from the shape of the little pots down there that there's a spider biome to our right. And I am curious to see if the spider biome is any larger than the other spider biomes that I encountered in my main mine shaft, kind of at the center of the world. So let's take a detour over into here and see what this one's like. And I've got magic missiles, which are pretty good at detecting where the spiders are. For me. Yeah, 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 I got an army, yeah, somewhere. All right, so we use a grappling hook in order to quickly cut through the spider webs with our bodies and figure out the extent of this place. We use some magic missiles to shoot at some spiders, and some imps will do some of that work for us as well. And we'll try to quickly gauge the extent. It looks like that's the top end of it. How about on the bottom down here? Looks like there's some more spider biome just over this way. And anybody over here? There's definitely somebody over here. Alright, that appears to be the edge over this way. And finally, there's the bottom right. Come on, grappling hook, you can do it. Get me over there. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's too large. So, I could be wrong, but I feel like these generate in a little bit smaller chunks than they used to. Which is fine, I don't feel strongly one way or the other. It's just interesting to note. Now, I haven't been boxing out the whole mineshaft as I've gone down, but spiders and hard mode are going to be extremely uh, difficult and worrisome, so we are going to take the precaution of putting some blocks along the side here and here, so that if we do try to dive down here, we can avoid the spiders as we go down this little mineshaft. And we found our way down into a cave. Let's take a ride on a minecart and see what we find. I had a little bit of light. Alright, end of the road here. Not too worried about the little pots. How about in this direction? Uh, some of my buffs, I think, just wore off. Okay, there was a life crystal there. And we'll put the buffs back on on the way back. There's a trap down there, but it's just a dark trap. So let's see. Mining, shy, night owl, but Splunker war. So let's add the Splunker back on. There we go. And we'll be able to see if there's any chest that we missed. All right. And the life crystal was just down here. Just down here? There is a chest. Aha! Okay. Let's grab this guy. Let's see what we get. Ooh, what is that? Arcane Inner Tube. Can be worn in bandage slots, grants the ability to float in water. Makes sense, it's coming out of a water chest. 
an inner tube to float in the water. That's another one that seems like it was potentially going to be a useful thing at the beginning of the game. Here's that life crystal or two. Um, but at this point, given all the other mobility accessories I already have, I don't know that an inner tube is going to make a big difference. I'm going to make my way over to this life crystal. Actually, let's focus on this guy because he might actually do a little bit of damage. Then we'll make our way over to the life crystal. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh yeah. And then we'll use some magic missiles. Which home after I let go of the button. Kablam! I'm really enjoying the magic like, missile weapon. And I'm really enjoying the balloon. Like the dungeon loot in general. It's fun to have new weapons that I previously almost never used. Because they just weren't quite good enough. And now they're good enough. It's great. Alright, back on the minecart. And I guess this is where I dug down, so I guess I'll continue digging down, actually. I should mention that in addition to just trying to have a good place to get down to Underground Corruption or Underground Hallow, uh, a reason to actually be in the ice biome in particular is I would like to find the ice skates. They will allow us to upgrade to the ultimate boots, or at least what was previously like the ultimate boots. So we no longer have to worry about slipping around on ice and can actually move more quickly on it. Uh, there's a chest, or a chest, there's a cave down here. Let's just take a brief look to the left and to the right with our Splunker Potion. See if we spot anything good. Other than a few pots, I don't see anything that way. Oops, and now we're underwater. I don't want to be underwater. And over to the left, is this going anywhere? It might be. It might be. It is not really going anywhere. All right. Rattles Magoo. So there's another skeleton merchant down here somewhere. But once again, I don't immediately see him. I don't really need him, so we'll just continue on. And there's an ice chest down on the bottom left. Okay, so that's our next goal. Let's hope to get ice skates. But I would also accept something new. Things I don't really want would be an ice mirror a snowball cannon, the ice blade sword. Basically things that I either don't need because they're effectively duplicates or things that are... Oh, there's a green fairy apparently coming my way. Uh, the green fairy is probably just going to lead me to this chest. <laughs> so that's going to be underwhelming. Uh, yes, green fairy, I saw this chest already, but thank you for arriving and pointing it out to me again. Zing! I do like the fact that the green fairy has kind of the same noise once it intercepts the chest. Uh, it has the same noise as even a life crystal. Uh, this noise. Eh, it's not exactly the same noise. It's pretty similar. And there's a lost girl, and she just went away. That's okay. We've already got our metal detector. It's another duplicate. It's another ice boomerang. Okay, this time I do have the safe. So I can simply say, deposit all. And then grab all this stuff. Deposit all is really useful after you've favorited the things that you want to keep in your inventory. And yeah, then I can keep running with the same of stuff in my inventory. Uh, but now a bunch of stuff got stuffed in the safe. So that is great. And it looks like some more digging down. There's an undead miner to the right. I can see his helmet lighting things up. And these guys drop a mining set, which I would like to get. It's pretty rare. Um, and I guess I would have ended up in the same tunnel as him, even if I hadn't come over this way. So let's kill the undead miner, just to see if we can get a rare drop. Just some bombs. All right, fair enough. And once again, since it's a minecart rail, let's take a ride. See what we find. Uh, life crystals. All right, those are good. At this point, I probably have enough of them. Oops, I did not manage to pick up the other one. I probably have enough life. Oops, hold on. There is a chest over to the right. And I want it. Still hoping for those ice skates. Make the frostbark boots. Um, yeah, at this point, I have enough life crystals that I can probably make a bunch of heart lanterns and even leave them in various arenas around the world. Um, so they're not a high priority, but even after that, they can sell for money. And I don't know if I actually asked the guy to see if there's any new crafting recipes. Okay, flurry boots 
are really not useful. Since we're in a cave, it's going to be easy to move through swiftly. We'll quickly take a look a little bit further to the right, but I don't see signs of another chest over there or anywhere out here. So let's try riding the minecart back to the left. Actually, I just happened to catch sight of the bomb statue over here. So let's grab it first on the way down. The bomb statue is not that important because bombs are so cheap. Ooh, hold on. There's interesting looking trap system over here. We gotta check this out as well as a gold chest. Um, so I've not seen wires that elaborate, I don't think, before. And so what was that attached to? Okay, kill this beetle. Looks like there's probably a dark trap over on the left-hand side. We'll check it out in just a second. And then the chest itself just has some Hermes boots. Let's once again quick stack some things in the safe. There's a lost girl somewhere nearby. And... Yeah, it was just a dart trap over there. All right, so maybe it looked more elaborate than it was. There's definitely some explosives over here, and I would like to get the explosives. And I also like the iron. So I'm gonna go grab those. Is actually gold, not iron. Once again, I never understood why Spelunker potions. I'm pretty sure it changed the color. Now that I look at it, it is pretty gold. Not sure why I thought it was iron. And I don't think there was actually an explosive here. Oh no, there was. It's in my inventory now. All right. Well, I got the gold. Any other chests? Doesn't look like it. Let's go back to the main dig. Ooh, pink fairy. Okay, we have another fairy, and I forgot we're not actually going back to the dig just yet, uh, because we never checked the left-hand side. I'm not sure if the fairy can keep up with me if I go really fast. So I'm just going to go at this speed, so the fairy can hang out, and that way if the fairy all of a sudden decides to make a change of direction, we can try to use that to inform where we want to go. Right now, my eyeballs I haven't spied anything too amazing in terms of loot. And the fairy's keeping up. Alright, fairy. If you want to, like, go in a direction all of a sudden, that'd be great. It would mean that there's a chest just off screen. Alright. We've reached the end of the shaft. The fairy is still with us. Oh! Here's something good. I wonder if the fairy could lead us to this thing. This tree, I mean. Uh, it doesn't appear so. Let's go ahead and chop down. Amber gem corn. Alright. Oh, the fairy is going to place. Alright, fairy. Where are you going? You went down here. Into the lava. It's not the best place to go, but sure. Let's do it. I'm coming, fairy. Just give me a second. I have constraints on my movement that might not apply to you. Your non-ethereal form, or ethereal form, non-corporeal form is what I was trying to say. Alright, fairy's going to the right. It might just be that life crystal, but I'll still take it. Yeah, surely it's leading me to the life crystal over there. So we'll get to hear its little zing noise. You can do it, fairy. I'm coming. Three, two, one. The fairy's so close. Zing! <laughs> Hooray. Alright, let's make sure that we pick that up. I don't need the gel. Uh, what I do need is to stack away some more things into my safe. Nice. change of the music means that we're reaching a mushroom biome. They're always fun. Uh, I would like to grab a breath of fresh air though. Mud is the fastest to dig through. 
off to the side. So let's dig over here and just grab some air before we head down there. Like, we just don't care, but we do care. We care about getting ice skates. And we care about finding new stuff. Alright, we might as quick to dig through. We will gain our breath before we drown. In the mushroom biome, here we go. Alright, I don't see any dangerous wires. I do see some rubies that I do want. Thank you for the rubies. Oops, they're not in my inventory because the inventory, once again, filled up. Quick stack. There we go. Inventory space has been obtained. Picking up these diamonds. Let's just kill all the things indiscriminately. Ooh. Uh, there is some kind of statue there that I don't immediately recognize. Let's kill a few more bad guys. There we go. Really? Inventory's filled again? Come on, inventory. You can do it. Um, yeah, we're running out of stuff here. What is this? It's a frog statue. I can always craft a frog statue. That's not particularly exciting. Let's try to avoid falling into lava. Oh boy. There we go. <laughs> and just see if there's anything on the left-hand side. I see Undead Miner as a rare creature. However, I don't see where he is. Uh, let's try digging down here. Oops. Clicked outside the window there for a second. Yeah, my Miner Potion is worn off, and I'm pretty near the bottom of the world at this point. Uh, if we zoom out, yeah, we're getting down into the lava layer, obviously. So I'll see if I can find this undead miner. We'll look through one more section of the mushroom biome, perhaps. But then it might be time to go home, given how full my inventory is. Alright, and there's a big bag of nothing down here. So... Zoom! Let's go home and check out what we've won. Oh, right, the goblins. <laughs> we won another encounter with the goblins. Alright, let me deal with these guys. Magic missiles! Woohoo! Star statue, giving me more magic missiles! Woohoo! Alright, let's check out this inner tube. Look, I'm in an inner tube. Sure enough, I float on the water. I see, and you can press down in order to go underwater, but if you release down, all of a sudden you rise back up to the surface. That's actually pretty good, that's pretty good mobility. It's almost like being able to fly underwater. Um, there might be scenarios where that's actually pretty cool. All right, but we have an inner tube, fantastic. So we managed to get a good bit of the underground and the ice biome explored. Something I still never did was manage to find the jungle temple. So, I'm going to try to go down to the bottom of the jungle here, as quickly as is reasonable, and see if we can do some more exploring down there. And through the magic of video editing, just like that, we are down to near the bottom of what we've explored previously in the jungle, and unfortunately it looks like I'm right on top of a beehive here. So let's make a slight detour. It's not in the mood to fight Queen Bee right at the moment even though it would be profitable. Let's instead try to dig down here, bring a little bit of water with us since we're down at a lava -y layer, in case the water will help us out. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be enough water to help us out there, so let's try going this way. And then let's just avoid the lava by going this way. That seems reasonable. Let's throw another glow stick at our feet for a little bit of extra light. This feels like the type of location where the jungle temple might be, because it's often kind of on the near side of the jungle, down at the lava layer. And it's a pretty big, pretty big structure. So I'm kind of hoping we can just run into it. Alright, we're kind of just in caves here, and I think, yeah, there's the underworld. So we've reached the bottom of the world. Ooh, look at this structure. Ah, it's another one of these um, lava traps that we encountered a long while ago, and I want to be on cutting wire. So let's go ahead and dewire that guy. 
So in terms of the big picture, if I were the jungle temple, let's try digging down through here in case it's there. I don't think it would be over here. So I'm going to go back up to where this minecart is and try to go up that way. All right, I decided to take kind of a different route just to try to cover more, and I don't think I'm finding it here. So maybe it's much further to the left. Maybe it's not as deep as I thought it was going to be. Maybe I just have no clue at all. Well, I found a minecart, but it seems to be taking us out of the jungle. <laughs> so that means it's less likely that we're going to find the jungle temple over here. Yeah, the music has changed. However, we did find an emerald gem horn tree, which gave me an emerald and a gem horn. I'll take it. A couple of them, actually. And let's try riding this in the other direction. And once again, just to get a sense, yeah, that was at the very edge of the jungle, but maybe it'll go back this way. Uh, there is a life crystal. And I'm still picking those up for reasons. It's a marble biome down there that I'm happy to avoid. Alright, who do we have over here? Uh, just the end. And still no sign of the jungle temple. Alright, well this might be something that I just have to continue looking for on my own time off camera. It appears that my buffs have worn off. My inventory is pretty full. So now would be a good time to head home and say that I hope as always that you guys are having a great day and I will see you again soon with more Terraria. For now, bye-bye.